hello and welcome to Oscar Modeling and welcome back to our Honda Gorilla Spring Collection 1 6 scale um, motorcycle build. So let's let's have a look at where we left off in part three. So we're into part four now. So we'll bring it over here. So we've got the frame of the bike um, all fitted out with the uh, the engine, the cylinder, the carburetor, the air filter. Everything's all fitted in there. We've got our foot rests, our kick stand, and uh, some hose lines. I think there's a, a fuel line and maybe an accelerator cable there uh, to be joined up later. All right. So um, please, uh, thank you very much for all the comments I've been getting um, and all the tips and advice. And I see quite a few people out there are interested in getting hold of one of these kits i'm not sure how available they are as i bought this when i was in thailand and i live in sydney um but i'm sure you know you can pick one up somewhere but, but so far it's turning out a really nice kit um so what we're up to now is step seven so i'll put step seven up there in the corner have a look at there we're about to work on the swing arm and the muffler so i can put this out of the way and uh, bring in our chrome parts here. This is sprue A. Pretty much, well, actually, everything is on sprue A at the moment. So uh, that's going to make it easy. So what I'll do now is I'll take off these parts and um, clean them up, and we'll see how they go together. And hopefully none of the connection points or anything are going to be visible, and we'll be able to get away with not... Uh, re-chroming anything although the muffler will be seen um, possibly because so i had a quick look in step eight there's actually a piece that goes and covers the muffler um, it's on g17 sprue which is that piece so the muffler being uh, these two parts that go together they're going to have this go over the top of it um, so when it comes to weathering this in the way of doing some like uh, heat heat marks on it, this is what we'd probably do that do it with. Um, although this is a heat shield, isn't it? So that's probably not going to get um, those blue tinges and heat marks on them. We'll have to look at some reference photos, see what we can do about that. Um, yeah. But most of this will be underneath that, so we're not too concerned about uh, how they're going to look. All right, okay, I'll get on with this. I'll get these parts off, and we'll we'll put this together, and uh, I'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back. Um, got all the parts off, and they're all cleaned up. Um, the way it turns out is that uh, the um, little bits I had to trim off are either going to be in areas that you're not going to see. So Tammy have gone to the trouble of making sure that their connections on the sprue are, are going to be in very uh, unseeable points, okay? So, for instance, that's going to join onto there like that. That's the two sides of the muffler. This needs to be painted completely all gloss black. Um, there's a bracket here that you'll see that See, the thing with these two is on the sprue, these chrome parts are really only chromed on one side. You turn the sprue over, I showed you in earlier videos, and it's not chromed or very lightly chromed. But what happens here is pieces like this, the unchromed bit is going to sit up against the ch chassis of the bike, and you're not going to see that. That's the part that you'll see from there. So that'll be okay. So there'll be no need to uh, repaint any of this at all. Um, now there's also uh, so looking for this part here. So this goes on. This is the end. This is the tailpipe, okay, and it's going to sit in there, and it'll go in like that, okay. Now there's another half piece to it that makes that a complete circle, but that's going to sit in there. Now oh, I had it. <laughs> now I had it there like that okay now they say in the instructions to paint that all black as well but i want to leave that chrome 
because I want to do like the blue heat marks, blue and a yellowy marks on that. So I'm going to paint that or keep that separate, uh, glue the other half to it. So that part there will simply go like that. Okay. And then we can uh, detail that up. Now you'll see, this is what I mean by the chrome. See how chrome that is there? Turn it over. If you can see that, and that's dull on that side. Okay. Now I could go and chrome it, but um, I don't know. I'm thinking it's it's not going to be seen because it's going to be on the bike side. So you're not going to notice, not going to see that at all. Yeah, I think that'll be all right. <laughs> uh, now for the um, the swing arm, the rear swing arm here. We've got these parts here. Again, the inside of them are not chrome, but because these are up against the rim and the rear tire, you're not going to be able to see that side of it. So that's why I'm not too concerned. And same with this crossbar that goes between. So that's going to go in there. It's keyed in to go only one way. So the unchromed side of it will be up against the tire and the chrome sides on the other side. So that'll be fine. Not not going to um, bother trying to rechrome all of that as well. Um, this bit, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm just thinking too that if I did rechrome this, um, it might help with the um, weathering of it when I try to put on the colours on this pipe. I will wait and see. I'll think about that. <laughs> yeah. All right. So anyway. Um, I can put these all together. Um, that end piece still slides in, even though this is together. So that's a good thing. So I'll glue all these together, and I'll get these this done black, as it's supposed to be. I'll put those together, and um, yeah, this will probably just leave that on the side because it looks like in the next instructions we've got to do the other end of the the, the actual exhaust pipe that's going into the back of the muffler. And of course, that's going to need a lot of the uh, um, heat effect done on it too. All right, so I'll put them together. Be back in a sec. Okay, welcome back. So I've glued these two together. Just drying. Um, I think I already showed that. I put the um, bracket on the exhaust um, manifold. Now. Very important thing here is always check, test fit everything because um, that little point there needs to go through the hole on the frame there. Okay. Now, when I've gone to go, okay, well, before I do anything, it doesn't fit. Okay. The tolerances are so tight that I don't know why that doesn't fit, but you know, it, it will. But what, I, what I'll need to do is just open that hole up a little bit. Uh, so that'll fit in, but it's best to check this now rather than after you've prepped it and painted it and you you know you don't want to handle it too much and you realize it doesn't go in. So that's going to need to be done. Okay. Um, also, uh, let me put that down. This will be painted black. I'm going to do that all black. So I'll just uh, put the clamp on there. Okay and uh, that'll be ready to paint. Gloss black. Um, the exhaust. So I did skip ahead to step eight to get the rest of the exhaust pipe here, which I'm going to re-chrome along with the tip out the end of that muffler. Okay. And uh, now another thing is um, you saw me test fit that. That's no problem. That's going to go in the end of the muffler. No worries. But this one, when I checked, um, that nub on the end, that that connection point that goes under the into the engine at the bottom there, there's the spot for it. Uh, there's no way that was going to fit. I mean, it will now, but it wasn't going to fit. Again, I test fitted it to make sure because I didn't want to struggle after everything's all ready to go on. And put in it wasn't going to go in there so again uh, what i've done is i've just trimmed up gone around just narrowed that piece and now test fill it slides in no problem um, 
Yeah. So that's all ready to go. And um, obviously I can hold it by that because that'll be out of sight. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's that. All right. So we can put that away for the moment. What I'm going to do now is go and put some paint on these things. That stays chrome, so we don't have to touch anything with the swing arm. That's finished. Um, this may as well be finished, um, the muffler. So we can cross off step seven as done. And then as we get down to step eight, uh, we'll be putting all these on. But like I say, I need to re-chrome these. So I'll um, undercoat them in black primer. I'll hit them with the gloss black. And we'll hit them with the Outlaw Paints Chrome, and they'll be they'll be looking good. And of course, these need to be um, all the um, heat marks done on there as well, which I'll show you um, how I do all that. And of course, this will be uh, primed as well uh, in black, and then it will gloss black. All right, I'll do that, and we'll come back and have a look at those pieces. Back soon. Okay, welcome back. So let's have a look at where we're up to. Um, here's the muffler done in the Outlaw Paints black, gloss black. Very nice. Um, I did the bolt head on there, as it says in um, chrome silver. So, yeah, that looks good. Just making sure that completely dries. Now, I've also chromed the exhaust. So let's have a look at these pieces. There they are there. Again, look at that nice shine on that. Beautiful. And uh, they're ready to put the, um, the heat marks on them. Okay. And to do that, I'm going to do that on the camera. I'll film that. So I'll set up my compressor and airbrush up in here. And uh, we'll give that a go because these need to be done before they can be attached to the muffler otherwise we'll get paint where we don't want it to be um, the heat shield that goes over the muffler is here and this is in the next step i took it off and um, i've decided i'm going to leave that chrome and i'm not going to do anything with that um, this is obviously a heat shield so it doesn't get hot so it's not going to have those marks on it um, and it basically will sit over the muffler, sort of like that. Um, so that'll be staying nice and chrome. Um, I also, while I was in step eight, took out these two pins that need to go uh, into the front um, swing arm. So I've got those out, and I've got this as well. I'm not too sure what that is, but it's got to be painted black, gloss black. It looks like a spark plug, but it's not. It's just where. It's like a couple of uh, hose lines are going to connect into something. So that's on step eight, which I'll put up in this corner here. You can have a quick look at. Um, so that's all there is for those parts. And then step eight is also um, doing that front um, mud guard on there. Okay. So the front fender, I guess you'd call it, for the bike. Now, Normally it would be chrome if you're just doing the chrome bike, but as we know, I'll bring it over here and have a look. There they are there, looking at chrome. is, And that's the piece there. Um, but what I want to do, as I mentioned in the lead up to the video, is to paint it in this Outlaw Paints Rum Raisin Pearl. Okay, so, so what I'm thinking of doing is... Um, while I paint that, I may as well also do the rear guard as well and do the fuel tank because that's all going to be in that color and this little piece that sits on the side of the bike as well. Um, they're all the main parts that will be the rum raisin pearl. So um, I'll, yeah, I'll take these parts off, get them prepped, and then uh, what will happen is they'll get clear, uh, primed. That little paints primer, grey primer, and then we can put the rum raisin on there. It's going to look fantastic, and hopefully today, but probably more likely tomorrow, 
I've got the Outlaw Paints 2K Diamond um, Clear coming. And I'll be able to try that out for the first time on here. Also have some more gloss black coming because I'm running out. Very, very much running out. Um, so that's putting a bit of a hold on things. All right. So, yeah, that's what we got to get done. Um, so, yeah, uh, let me see. So the only thing now is to do the heat marks on the exhaust system. That's about it before we can progress any further. All right, so I'll get my airbrush out here and set up, and uh, we'll have a look at doing that. Be back in a sec. Okay, welcome back. So here we go. Let's get these painted up in the um, uh, heat. We want a heat effect on these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I've got some colors mixed up here. So we've got some clear orange, clear blue, and clear red. And we'll use very, very tiny amounts of each to create the marks we want coming down from here and probably a little bit around here. But because these are so small, very, very tight light so what i've done is i've thinned these out very thin and the pressure is down to about 12 psi and um that should be fine to um just do a really light layer so i'll do this we'll do this under a time lapse we'll go through do all the exhausts both these pipes and um we'll have a look and see what they look like in the end okay so let's go Okay, welcome back. So there you go. You saw my airbrushing. So there you go. How's that come up? That looks pretty good. Some nice um, heat marks on that exhaust. I hope you can see that. All right, it's as close as I can get with the camera. It's coming up all right, eh? Very nice. Now this, because again, this is like another little heat shield on here. I, I'm not going to do it on there. But um, again, some panel line wash on that might bring up a bit more of that d detail in there. Um, otherwise, I think I'll leave that as it is. Yeah, there we go. So I'll let them dry and um, we'll come back and we should be able to fit these um, onto the muffler and all the parts pretty much onto step eight, although. We need to check that fender. I don't think we can put that fender on yet. Um, 
maybe I'll test fit and see because we we need to obviously do all the painting um, of those chrome parts to our rum raisin. But uh, yeah, anyway, done. All right, I shall return. Okay, welcome back. So let's uh, get some of this exhaust put together. Pretty much want to attach that into there like that. I'm going to use some CA glue because I want this on pretty strong. A bit of icky sticky CA glue here. There it is. Like this. In. There we go. You can see that beautiful colour on that exhaust. Looking really nice. Um, we've got to position that. Oh, that is right. It's only goes in one way, so I thought it was sticking out too far, but that's that's the way it is. I'll have to remember to do the inside of that exhaust pipe there black. We can do that after. So that's on. Um, Okay, so that's in now. This is not so easy because this one isn't keyed. It can go in there pretty much and twist around. And I've realized that I've when you put that in there, you've covered up the, the blue tinge that I did completely. Oh. Yeah, maybe that's all right. Anyway, that's okay because I've also got this is going to cover some more even more of it. But anyway. All right, so um, the positioning is going to be an issue because this has to go up into the bottom of the engine, and at the same time, this needs to connect. So basically, it's one of those situations where I need three hands or four. So what I'm going to do is move this, bring our frame over this, and just move that. And you'll see my scars healing from my bike accident. <laughs> Slowly. All right. Sorry about grossing everybody out then. Let me get this sorted. So let's have a look. What we've got to do is that goes into there. I've already made that hole a bit bigger so it fits in there fine. Like that. Okay. Make sure it's straight. I guess that's straight. It's difficult to uh, go by the instructions, but that looks right. Now, this is where we've got to get this lined up. So the bottom goes into the bottom there. And then we can twist this around and put that into there. That one's in the bottom, so that's good. And that's in there like that. That looks good. All right. And I managed to leave that hanging out a little bit so I can still see some of the blue, even though it's going to get covered up by the heat shield, which will sit. Just have a look what it's all going to look like. That's going to sit like that. But that's good. I'm happy with that. That looks good. All right. Um, I might actually, I, ha I do have one of those hand things, which I could probably clamp this side and then work on it. Ah, uh, we're good. We're good. I can fix this off camera though. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll glue that. I'll glue that. Glue that. And we're done. And make sure this is in the right place too. Yeah. All right. Back in a second, this will all be in one piece. Uh, just before I go, I just realized this lead here that goes onto the spark plug cap is a good idea to connect that now because it's going to run behind the exhaust and be easier. So I've plugged, connected it to there, and I'll just put that back on the spark plug. And there we go. That's good. 
Yeah, that makes that easy. Okay, just a tip there. Just trying to think if I should turn that in more. No, that's right, that's where it goes. Yep. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I've got all them all that glued on. It's looking pretty good. There's our exhaust in there. Now I've looked at some reference photos of some of the other bikes people have. You don't have heat marks on this, all right? This is a heat shield, so obviously it's not going to get hot. Um, so I'm just going to glue that straight on there, as it will be, and uh, and leave that. But uh, I'm going to give it a clean up first. There's a couple of screw bolts in there. I may just touch them with um, uh, silver, so they're not quite the same chrome. And uh, I'll attach that. And I. Th I think that will be it for that step. Oh no, hang on. We've, <laughs> we've got, still got the uh, swing arm to go on, uh, which is a little bit confusing too because I don't know how I'm going to glue that because it's not sure of the angle that's supposed to be at. See, so the swing arm's going to go sit in, connect in there like that. Let's check, make sure I got this right. Uh, I think that's it. One, two. Yeah, that's going to go in there like that, see? But I don't know what angle to have that at. So we'll, we'll put the bolts in. We've got the bolts over here. All right, so they can go in. But we may not glue them at this point. Just so we can... Uh, fiddle around with that later because in the next step looks like we're doing the rear dampers um, so we won't be touching this uh, of course the rear guard goes on as well but of course we've got to paint all that up separately and uh, I don't think it doesn't look like it makes any contact the rear guard will connect up under here and it will also connect in there there's a slot in there for it as well or maybe it's underneath yeah, I think it's in there. But uh, yeah, not a problem. All right, I'll put this on and put the pins in and we'll come back. Uh, there's also this piece here, which I forgot all about, which is supposed to be painted um, black, semi-gloss, that I forgot about. Um, we'll see. Might, might actually do that, the engine color. We might give that a rum raisin touch. Because I need to think of a few little bits around the engine that are going to have that rum raisin, not just the carburetor. All right, back again in a sec. Okay, so that is on. Looking good. So what I found out was I got this front guard here ready, or rear guard, I should say. And I've test fitted that, so there's a little notch in the bottom that it sits into, and then this part goes in the top here. And there's nothing else connecting or touching this. Um, so we can do this, put this on any time. In fact, I've gone and had a quick look at the next four or five steps, and we can work around it without that having to be on there at all, which is great. So what that means is that if I, I can take this piece off, I can do the front one, take the front one, the tank off, I'll take all them off and we'll prep them up for the painting. And in the meantime, while that's happening and we're waiting for the process for, for the drying and everything else, we can move on and continue on with the other steps. So what we'll do is at this stage, we'll consider uh, step seven is done, that's for sure. All right, we'll finish that. Um, and step eight is also done, except for that guard, all right? This, I put the pins in, and they're holding this here, but it's not glued in place because I just want to know what's attaching and have that movement so that I don't know exactly what the position is, so I'm not going to glue those pins in. All right, so that's where we're at now. Um, we'll move on to step nine, and then every now and then we'll come back and we'll do a bit more on the, um, 
the guards and the tank all right but for the moment um let me just take all the parts off that we've got to paint up for the the guards and tank and that and uh and then we'll come back we'll get them off the sprue and and tidied up and look at what we've got to do with them okay back in a sec hey welcome back everybody so here's the parts that we need to do in our beautiful rum raisin pearl there they are there i've just um polished them all up cleaned them all up with some um, isopropyl and keeping the dust off by putting that over the top um, that's that little piece that sits on the frame i painted that up um, it's supposed to be all black but i've done it sort of a bit of black and and left some of the chrome on there as well so i'll pop that in place um, there's something else i almost missed out on i'll just bring our white frame here is on the side here in um, step eight we need to put a decal so decal number 12 we've got our decals here it's just this tiny little one here can't see the reflection uh yeah it's just that one there looks like a compliance plate and it just sits on the frame in there so um <laughs> i'm just going to grab that i'll just put that on and uh and that'll be that done that completes uh like i said step eight and um yeah i'm expecting the um 2k clear paint coming from outlaw paints today so that's going to be really good so when we get these painted up depending on if they've dried and it's all done um we'll be able to clear coat those and see how well they come up but that will probably be in the next video <laughs> don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves in the meantime we're moving on to step nine now um so uh like I said, I'll get some parts. I'll get some of the parts off in step nine. I'll just put that up there in the corner. You can see it's actually the um, rear damper we're working on. So we've got the spring to go on there. There's a screw to go in there, and there's also the battery holder as well, or the actual battery. And there's uh, it's like two decals for that too. Okay, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, guys, I thought I'd just show you. Here's all the parts. Or the rear damper rear spring as i would call it um, and also the battery which i just glued the two bits together um, that's just going to be painted gloss black and then we have a couple of decals to go on each side of it and what i might do is just touch some little bit of silver in there just to leave that because it, it's got the detail in the top there but you know there's no color call out for anything there uh, i might put a bit of silver in there now the springs themselves um we've got this piece that's going to go in through there um so i'm thinking of doing that in the rum raisin so that's going to be done in that Is that to stay <laughs> anyway yep so that'll look good and i might even do the ends as well like there's the caps that sit on the bottom here and one on the top one's going to go in on the top there which will bolt across to the frame um, just to give a bit more detail um, so yeah so uh, that's what I'm going to do with those and uh, oh I guess uh, I've got to do that before I put them together so um, I'll do that okay and then we'll come back and have a look at them back in a sec oh and I also wanted to say I'll, I'll redo the aluminium on these parts as well so that they sort of blend in better with the uh like i did with the engine so that'll be the um aluminium from outlaw okay back again in a sec okay welcome back everyone so i've got these parts all painted up now there's our ones done in that rum raisin same as what the carburetor was done not really nice that's going to look nice on the shock absorber and I've uh, redone these in the aluminium, uh, the supports at the, at the ends of them, so that'll be fine. And our batteries in gloss black. Good. Um, talking about gloss black, the uh, paint arrived that I ordered, so I've got uh, plenty of gloss black now. Um, yeah, I went through a lot of this because I 
lot of chroming work on previous models require gloss black as a base paint. Uh, we go follow that. And also, we've got this 2K Diamond Clear from Outlaw Paints. Let's have a look in here. I haven't opened this at all yet. Uh, okay, there we go. Look at that. All right. So it comes with a part A clear. And we've got another part A clear. And we got the 2K thinner. And part B hardener. All right. Some pipettes for applying it because these have to be mixed uh, in the right ratios. And in here we've got the instructions. That aside, have a quick look. This is okay, here we go. Two K Diamond Clear. Uh, play. This uh, product contains isonates, isocyanates. There you go. So you need personal PPE, face mask, well ventilated area, so forth. Um, that's all good. Uh, this is what the set contains. That I just showed you. Um, there's the mixing ratios here. How to use. So the mixing ratio is four to one plus five percent thinners. Okay. See the quick guide for mixing ratios. Um, once you mix part A diamond clear with part B hardener together. With a chemical reaction will start and will become unusable within 30 40 minutes. So you have to paint this as when you're ready to mix these when you're ready to use it. Ensure all the surfaces are smooth and dust free. Apply two even wet coats. There's no need for a tack coat. And allow one hour to fully harden and cure. Uh, drying time, say at ambient temperature of about 20 degrees, which it is today, Celsius. Uh, it'll be dust free in 10 minutes. Uh, tack free in 30 minutes and fully hardened within an hour. Um, can be sanded, polished, and buffed after one hour. From what I know of these, you don't have to do any of that. You're going to get that mirror finish without doing any buffering or polishing. And there they are. Excellent. So, Outlaw Paints, uh, as usual, the link will be in the description if you want to try these. And uh, We'll see what they come out. And these are what we're going to be using on the, on here, on these. When I paint these up in the rum raisin. Look forward to that. Probably in the next video, guys. So stick in there. We've got to clear coat all. We've got to prime those up yet. So it'll work to do. So all good. I'm happy with that. That's going to be excellent. Right back in, and uh, there we go. Right, so now, what am I going to do? Put these together. There we go. I'll do the battery first. I just want to touch a bit of silver in there, just to make a little bit of detail on that. Um, uh, maybe a bit of red as well. We'll see. And then I'll put these together and uh, we'll come back and have a look. There's also a couple of decals I mentioned earlier to go on here as well. Also, I don't know where I put those. Um, there they are. I think I'll do them now, actually. There's the decals. All right, we'll be back in a sec. Okay, back again. And here they are put together. What do you think? And they do work. <laughs> uh, yeah, come up really nice, I think. Beauty. And there's our little battery with the decals on there. Good. Oh, I forgot I haven't touched up there yet. I'll put a bit of, bit of white or something on those. Maybe green on those terminals. All right. And that is the end of step nine. So I can cross off step nine now. And let's have a look at what we got at step 10. I'll put that up in the corner here. And looks like we're the drive chain's going on. So we've got our chain, um, chain protector, guard. There's a few decals I can see going on there. And the uh, front of the engine with the Honda on it. 
and of course we've got looks like a kickstart on the left hand side there so uh yeah excellent all right and we're not putting these on yet by looks of it so they'll go into the the box with everything else and uh we'll have to put them on later i guess um well, the battery goes on in this step i can see that there so we'll be able to put that in okay um yeah i'll um get some parts off the sprue and um we'll have a look at uh how these are all going to fit or if we're going to color anything we'll have a look okay back in a sec okay welcome back so it's a little bit confusing step uh 10 because it says j1 which is actually uh this piece here the black chain but there's also chrome and there's no it doesn't tell you there's a chrome one off a different sprue so there is a choice of which one you want to use i guess i've decided to go with the chrome one i'm going to paint the chain black um, but have the chrome sprocket in there um also there's uh i am what's this one this is well they show the choices here so there's um a40 or j2 and that's either this chrome one or this black one the black one's a little bit bigger this is the this is the chain guard so it's going to sit over the top and sort of cover a bit more of the chain uh or you can have the smaller one which is just a chrome one which won't cover as much um i've decided to go with the chrome one okay and also the same with this um j12 here so j12 is the black one there it is there the black one um but if you don't want to do black and you want to do it um say aluminium then there's the aluminium one which is find it here uh oh i already put it on just test fitted it there it is there okay you can put the aluminium one which comes with the chrome cap on there which is like this which has the honda written on it there it is there see so i'm going to go that way the chrome the reason why i checked that is also the start uh the this uh gear changer i think this is the to change gears so for here it tells you j10 which is the black one it doesn't tell you there is a chrome one on the other sprue same with the chain so you also have a choice um so i'm going to go with the chrome one but i will do rubber black on the rubber grip on the bottom of it um same goes with the other side as well there's this piece here this looks like the one that the starter the kick starter that's folded up i'm going to go with the chrome one um, again there's also a black one i think there's a black one Maybe there's not, because I don't see it on here. So no, there isn't. There is only a chrome one. So to make it match, that's why I'm doing chrome on both sides with the black part here, which would be the rubber bit where you rest your shoe. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's all a little bit confusing, but it all goes down to how you want to build and what your custom options are going to be. Okay, so that's all the parts that I need not using the black using that and uh yeah then we've just got to um paint i guess i'm going to hand paint the, the links on the chain there i think that'll be the easiest way um and fit that and uh yeah should be fine there's also some decals when i said there were two decals before well, there's one it goes on one of these depending which one you're going to use okay so because i'm using the black one i'll put the decal there on there uh which is probably the first thing i should do um and then uh start painting some bits now the battery you can see i put the terminals see a bit of color there i've got the red the green and some silver ones in the middle it's looking pretty good and that basically is it for that so this we can just it should just fit straight in the battery box and 
there it is perfect okay might be able to see if we can get some wires running off that or something or some terminal leads if there isn't already i don't think there is i haven't seen any in the instructions again it depends on how much of that can be seen on the final build too so uh yeah once that uh seats on yeah it's probably going to cover that anyway okay all right i'll sort things here and we'll be back in a sec okay so update is i've painted the chain black obviously i'm using the one with the chrome so that's drying now i've just finished doing that so i'm gonna let that dry also put the decal down on that piece there reflections on see there you go decals down on there okay so that's done and the foot um, pegs for this one which i think this is the gear change shift is this one and this one's the starter it sort of sits upright and you twist it out and then put it down and then jump to kick start so i've done the uh, rubber effect on those that piece is actually on step 11 i just figured well if i'm going to do this and i've got the rubber may as well do that as well so i've done both of them and um and of course this housing here which goes on the side i'm going to re-chrome not re-chrome hit this with the aluminium so we'll get that with the outlaw paints aluminium and get that matching with the rest of the engine we'll put the chrome part on the front and that piece will be done so i'm just going to go and paint that up now now while i'm undercoating this i'm also going to go and undercoat these all right i'll put the outlaw paints primer on them as well and um yeah uh progressing well so when i come back we'll have that done we should be able to put that on the engine along with this and the chain all right so we'll come back we'll, we'll fit all of that uh, this needs to dry properly i use quite a bit of paint filling in all those links on there so uh I want to let that dry properly. And uh, yeah, that'll be the end of step 10. All right, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, welcome back. So I'm in the middle of fiddling around trying to get this uh, drive chain on uh, the chain and sprocket. And um, what I thought was see, this needs to go sort of through that, like that, and then it goes into that hole there and sits in there. That's fine. And then the cover goes on the engine there, which is here. We've just painted up that aluminium. And I thought when that's on top of there, maybe that will hold that in place so I won't have to glue it. But it doesn't sit down against it, so it still sits in there loose and comes out. I mean, I could put, glue that on and then attach this in there later. But, um, yeah, I was hoping that would because the instructions are telling me now that um once that's in place and i don't want to glue it because where's it going to go there's so much movement there it doesn't it's not keyed would help and to determine the location of this will depend on the shock absorber which is in the next step putting the shock absorber on so the idea would be to with my third hand which i don't have fit the shock absorber um so that it's all in position and then i'll know the position that can be glued hope that's all clear because even before you do that in the step we're in step 10 now they're telling me to put the chain guard on now the chain guard is just going to attach through there and there and it's just going to sit pretty much like this but again with none of this glued on like nothing's everything's moving around you see so this would probably be best to do after the shock absorbers fitted on on featuring uh yeah all right so i'll do that after um but you'll notice the battery fell out i didn't glue it in so it's okay while i'm fiddling around here Oops. there we go 
back in. Uh, and then there's the cover. The chrome cover goes on. That's after. That's no problem. But yeah, it's a matter of getting all this um, connected. All right. So I will fiddle around and uh, try and connect uh, the shock absorbers. See, here's what I mean. If, to get the distance, I need to see which way that's going to go. It's going to go up that way. It's the right way. Whoop. And we'll need to get more um, bolts, I think. And there's a screw that goes through, actually, that whole piece and with a nut. But that's going to go on there like that and then come down to where it connects like that. That is how we determine the position. Now, having knowing that now, I could glue that because these are all in the right position. All right, you see what I mean? It's coming together. <laughs> all right, now what I'm going to do is up in the corner there, I've, I've undercoated with uh, gray Outlaw Paints Primer those um, the fuel tank and the two guards. You can see in that photo there come up beautiful really nice um, I've got them in a dust free environment I'm going to really let that sit there for half the day uh, before I even attempt to put on the um, uh, the rum raisin colour I just want to make sure that that primer is beautifully on there alright um, also I'll throw a picture up there you probably heard them a second ago the old parrots there's my parrot there I took a photo of him this morning um, as I gave him a cookie and beautiful looking birds aren't they so yeah so that's what you're hearing in the background occasionally when I'm doing videos all right well having said that uh, I'm going to finish off the video here I'm trying to keep them well under the hour if I can just to keep your attention spans <laughs> um, I will work on this and get this attached we'll come back in the next part five we'll see that um and then uh i'll talk about how that all went and then um we'll probably go through and paint the um rum raisin on the tank and, and guards all right and we'll be moving on to step 11 um which is pretty much just putting these on there's a bit more to go on there there's a control arm for what looks like a brake uh seems to have, have mechanical brakes on this so there's like a long lever that goes on there we'll attach that so, yeah, I'm going to let this go now. It's all going to fall apart, <laughs> but that's fine. And, uh, yeah, I'll finish up this. And uh, thank you all for watching. Um, please subscribe if you haven't. Give us a thumbs up. Your comments are welcome below. And uh, I'll see you back here in part five. Okay. Thanks, guys. Bye for now.